I believe there's a lot of us out there who want the best marriage ever. I want to be with this woman till death do us part. And I want it to get sweeter every week and every year. And we have to work on it. We have worked on it. We've cried, we've prayed, uh, we've gotten angry, we've, we've laughed, and we've gotten to the best part and getting to the better part. And so can you. So solution number one, I see y'all ones, I see the ones, I see it coming in. A lot of people want to work on their marriages and we're going to help you. Solution number one, baby, what is it? It's your marriage is like sheets. Oh Lord. This woman is notorious. I just, this is funny. I just read in London, the average bachelor doesn't change his sheets for four weeks. Oh my God. Yeah. But this woman right here changes sheets. How often, baby? Well. <laughs> As often as needed. Every week. With at least once a week. Why do you do that? And sometimes twice. Because during when we're sleeping, we are shedding. We're, we're shedding our skin. Mm. We're shedding hair. Um, there are, how can I say this correctly? Soiled. Soiled. Um, you know, it could be lotion or fluids, you know. Yeah, on the sheets. So you want to change them because one, you don't want to, if, if you don't change the sheets, then you could have, get a sore, you could get an infection. And just like with your marriage, you have to make sure that you are doing what's necessary, that when you are shedding the skin, that it's good skin and that you're putting, you know, lotion on. And, and so, yes. So what she's trying to say, this is an allegory. Yes, allegory here. Yes. The sheets are your marriage. Mm -hmm. Have you brought freshness into your marriage or are you sleeping on the same stale sheets? When was the last time you changed it up in your marriage and brought freshness, invigoration into your love life? Are you still doing the same position you've been doing for the last three months? When was the last time you tried something new? When was the last time y'all went somewhere romantic? When was the last time you surprised your spouse with something spontaneous, like catch them in the kitchen and, and, and the kids are gone and the table turns into a bed? When was the last time you did something fresh? When was the last time you talked about the stuff that you don't like in the bedroom? When was the last time you talked about the stuff you do like? Solution number one, we have to change our sheets. And so solution number two, we're sticking with some allegory. You got to clean out your closets. My wife, bless her heart, she likes some shoes. <laughs> she likes pocketbooks. And at some point, she could not get in her closet. And I said, well, you got to get some rid of some. You got you to get rid of some of the stuff. Yes. You look like a male DeMarcos. You got to get rid of some of the stuff. And so what did you do? Well, I started purging. <laughs> I started purging because there are some things that were no longer in style. There were some things that I could no longer mm. fit. There were some things that being of the age that I am mm. that were not appropriate for me at this age. So putting that into context with marriage. I'm ready to ask y'all a question. This is your turn to interact with us. What are some things you need to purge out of the closets of marriage? And it doesn't have to be your marriage, just in general. Type it in the chat. What are some things that we need to purge out of the closets of our marriage? Some things that no longer fit some things that are no longer in style. Mm -hmm. Can you think of some things that we need to get rid of out of our closets? I need your help. Teach us tonight. Put it in the chat real quick. What are some things we need to let go of? Anger. Come on. Talk yes, to me. that's right. Lack of confidence. Straight something. Uh, fear. fear. Over talking my husband. Come on now. Yes. Come on. Yes. Yes. We got to learn how to listen to each other and not just listen to respond. Frustration. Anxiety. I see y'all. Y'all are, yes. are on it. Mm -hmm. Um assumptions, disrespect, unforgiveness. Those are some of the things we need to get out of our closet. And we're going to teach you in June how to remove things out of your closet that prevent you from being mobile, prevent you from finding your best fit. Hmm? There's some things, some of y'all got stuff, Lord have mercy. Some of y'all got some stuff in your closet you didn't even know you had. Sometimes, you I, about? sometimes I'll go in the closet and I'll be like, this still has a tag in it. You haven't even tapped into your best stuff yet. And you can't get to the best stuff because you have all these other things in the way. Yes. So you've got to get those out. You have to get those out. Yes. Solution number three, if you're going to stay married for the rest of your life, shouldn't you enjoy being in the same house? If you're going to have sex, shouldn't it be the best sex you ever had? 
How many of y'all believe that there's another level for your marriage? Type one, if you believe there's another level in your marriage. Your sex might be good. Y'all might be having to seven, 10 times like the other couple. But is there another level though? You know, the Memphis Grizzlies play tonight. We're going to watch them win tonight. And playoffs are different from regular season games. Yes. They take it up another level. And I think it's time for your marriage to go up another level. Would you like that? Would you like to take your marriage up to another level? I believe that when we get together in June, we're going to take you to a place that you've never, ever actualized because of the investment that you're going to make in your marriage. And so that's my prayer for you. And we're going to do another giveaway real quick. Okay. Uh, we're going to give away. Give me a book. I've done a book. So I'm trying to think of a question. You got a question for me, uh, Shonda? No question. Um, what is the best time of day to have sex? Biologically, it's been proven that there's a certain time of day when it's the best time to have sex. Anybody know when it is? Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat if you know what it is. Oh, my God, we got 84 new messages. Uh, anytime, all day, 6 p.m., anytime, midnight, morning, morning. 7 a.m. All right. Let's go with 7 a.m. Who is that? I bet, too. I Donald bet. Smith. That's my saying. What up, dude? What's up, boy? That's my saying. You better get that answer right, boy. Um, you, you know what I'm saying? So listen, Donald is right because in the morning, that's when a man's erection is the strongest. That's when you're most open. Um, and if you've had a good night's sleep, that's the best time to get in. And then all day long, guess what they're thinking about? They're thinking about you, boo-boo. <laughs> Give him something to put some on their mind. Put some on his mind when he goes to work. He's gonna come to work singing and smiling. If you and and listen. Uh, ladies, let me tell y'all something. This is free. If you wake your man up with some sex, that's the best wake up call ever. He'll be so happy. Wake that man up. And I'm talking about, you know, make him happy. Yes. Huh? So Donald Smith and Colette, you're going to get this book. Uh, Newpy, just uh, do me a favor. Send me your address. Text me your address. I'm going to send this book to you. All right. What's next? We almost there. Don't y'all leave. Don't leave yet. The game ain't started. Just hold on. I want to read some of the testimonials um, of people who have gone through some of our uh, intensives, our meetups, our retreats. Uh, Marcellus and Sherrican Jones, um, love them to death, young couple uh, in their 30s, I believe. It says, Pastor First Lady Spencer blessed our marriage by modeling what a great example should look like. You model how to communicate, support each other through prayer, have fun with each other. Most importantly, keep God as at the forefront of everything you do. We greatly value and appreciate how you lead by example and are obedient to the calling God has placed on your life. Marcellus and Shere Khan, uh, we walk with them, uh, we mentored them, and so it helped them. And we're hoping that the same thing will happen for you. Uh, I ran it naked under shame. I can't see that comment. Maybe y'all can tell me what they said. Let's go to the next slide. Um, what do you desire the most for your marriage in this season? Can y'all talk to me real quick? What do you desire the most for your marriage in this season? Put it in the chat. And we're going to read some of those chats real quick. What do you desire the most for your marriage in this season? Uh, what do you desire the most for your marriage in this season? Let's see. We got some people talking. Talk to me. Talk to me. Communication, attentiveness, peace, joy, better communication, better connection, a spark. Come on. I like that. We're going to give you that spark. When we have our meetup, debt free, come on, travel, love, communication, support, strength, more love, more affection, finances better, getting closer to God. Good stuff. So I see y'all want something. I see you. That's good. You got to want, you got to want more for your marriage. I talked the other Sunday about raising your expectations. God will meet you at your point of expectation. And what you're putting out tonight is what you're expecting. And I believe that. If you come with that expectancy when we meet up in June at our at our, our retreat, and watch this, a retreat is simply this. A retreat is a time where we pull away from the world, we unplug, and we intentionally lock in on each other. And what you've been struggling with for decades, we can solve in a couple of days if we come together and lock in. That's what I that's what I tell uh my, my son, he's studying for finals. I said, son, it's time for you to lock in. Cut out all the distractions and lock in. And I want y'all come June 10th mm -hmm. to lock in with us. 
We're going downtown to the Westin and we're gonna, we're gonna lock in on workshops. We're gonna do the work, but also we're gonna have some fun. And so we want you to get that marriage that you desire. You made it. Uh, so that, that's what we wanted to share with you tonight. And now we wanna open it up for questions. Uh, we want to open it up for questions tonight. What questions do you have? I got people that are looking at the chat. In case I miss your question, they're going to write it down and give it to me tonight. So let's talk for a few minutes before we get off of here. I want to know what questions you have about what we shared tonight. I want to know what's on your heart. So come on and share with us real quick. What, what questions do you have? Where can you purchase the book? Go to Amazon. So you can go get the book at Amazon. Um, it's on the paperback or Kindle. Mm -hmm. the, the link is live. So simply go type in Naked and Unashamed, Dr. Stacy Spencer, and you can get that on Amazon, on Kindle or on paperback. Great. Questions. Come on. This is where everybody, don't get shy on me. We have a question from Max and Quita. Okay. Said, how should you approach a married couple? Oh, I'm sorry. For mentorship. For mentorship. Well, since y'all know your pastor and y'all come to church every Sunday, Mac. And you follow me on Instagram, and I married y'all. You, you could just you could just holler at your pastor. <laughs> That's a very good question, Mac. Um, so Rhonda and I, pretty soon, probably in the fall, we're gonna open up some slots for mentorship uh, of couples. We're only gonna be able to take a certain amount of people because we want to walk with you for a year. So we're gonna put that together probably in the fall around August. So stay tuned for that. And we'll mention that some more in the meetup in June when we get together. We'll we'll hand out something in June to let you know how you can sign up for a mentorship mm -hmm. um, to walk with us. Uh, I, because there's so much more that we want to share, and we're pretty transparent. And so we're we're, transparent. We're, we will we'll be, be sharing with you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, any other questions? Yep, yeah, we have another question from Doyle and Latoya. How do you get the connection when young kids are involved? How do you get the connection when young kids are involved? You've got to be strategic. Them little jokers is nosy. No, I'm sorry. Uh, it's possible. What, what Ron and I used to do is that we would set a bedtime for the boys. And at 9 o'clock, they go into bed. I put some Benadryl in. No, I'm just playing. Uh, you have to set a bedtime for the kids. There's a rhythm to it. I was telling Ron the other day, you remember we used to have to do homework and go to practice? We're empty nesters this year. So I'm just now learning what it feels like not to have kids. Uh, and so it's it's challenging, but it's possible. And then if you got small children, you got to help your wife out with that child. She Don't put it all on, all on the wife. And then you want your wife to swing from the chandeliers. It ain't going to happen, Captain. You got, you're going to have to give that baby a bottle, change some diapers, fold some clothes up. Because if you want that lovey-dovey time, you're going to have to put in some work. So it's possible. What else? Uh, how can you get your wife to let go of any past issues? So right, right off the bat, I would say counseling. Yeah. I'd say counseling. Um, it, sometimes you can't hear each other because you're too engrossed in the you're conversation. Right there, you're right there in it. Yeah. You need a, a third party, an objective voice. Somebody asked a good question I just saw. Who controls sex in a marriage? The person who, I think it's the person who doesn't have a high sex drive. It, because in marriage, there's one person who wants it more than the other. And many times that person is held to a certain rhythm because of the other person's lack of desire. And so being that person in the marriage, you got to be conscientious to say, am I neglecting my spouse because I don't want it as much as they do? You have to find a compromise. We would say all the time, just one example, acting your way into a feeling mm. because you're not always going to feel like because you're going to especially if you look at it as a chore. So you have to act your way into a feeling. My husband works from nine to at night. He's too tired and we have a little one that is wild and crazy. That's where we struggle. Any suggestions? Yeah, it's. You know, when, when you got two different shifts going on, you have to be creative. My sister, Samantha, I don't know if she's on tonight. Her husband drives a truck uh, and he has to leave at night. And she tries to stay, you know, she tries to stay up with him as he's getting dressed. 
And what I've noticed from them is that they FaceTime each other and talk, you know, late into the night. And then when he comes home, they try to connect. You got to find those moments um, where you can connect. It might be a quickie, you know, while they're on the road or they're on a crazy shift. And then you got to schedule those gourmet sex times. What is gourmet sex? Like when y'all come in June, when we have to meet up at the Westin, that's going to be a perfect time for gourmet sex. When you get a hotel room, it's on and popping when you get a hotel room. You hear me? Sometimes me and Rhonda go get a hotel room just to go get a hotel room. Absolutely. We go downtown Memphis and we go out to a nice restaurant and we just get a hotel. Well, we're going to have, you're going to have a hotel room for two nights at the West in downtown. That's plenty of time. So hopefully you and your husband that works and drives, tell him to take some time off, come to Memphis in June. And we're going to be teaching you how to have balance and to find rhythm that works for you. So there's a part there. Two part question. One okay. is, do you have to be a member to participate in the conference? And will that be a virtual option for the conference? There, you do not have to be a member. We're all members of, 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 of God's body. You don't have to be a member of New Direction. You can you, you don't have to live in Memphis. Uh, we want this to be open to all married couples. So please, please come and participate. Doesn't matter that you're not a member of our church. And it's not going to be virtual because we're going deep. Yeah. And we're going to talk about some stuff. We're probably going to have some clinics yeah. in the room for tears and stuff. We're going to be, we're going to go deeper on how to actually solve some of these things that are blocking us from our best marriage and from our best sex life. So it will not be virtual. Uh, everything that's said at the Western stays okay. at the Western. So we're going to sound like we're in Vegas. Yeah. So we have a, was that the last question? You said it was a two-part question. You had two. Give me two more questions. Two more questions before we go into the next part. Two more questions. Um, is, is space positive or negative when angry with spouse? Is space positive or negative? Yeah, distance. Positive or negative when angry with spouse? Ah, good question. So when you're having conflict or arguments, watch this. Um, sometimes you need to call the timeout, mm -hmm. right? If, you, if you're in a ball game and you're not doing well, you call it what, timeout? You got to know yourself. If you feel your temperature rising and you feel like you're going to say something that you regret, tell your mate, I need to take a timeout. I need to go take a drive uh, and we'll resume this conversation. I just need to get away right now. What you don't want to do is to stay around and let that thing escalate and then it turns physical or you say something that you regret. Would you agree? I totally agree. You have to set those ground rules before you start talking. And in those ground rules, you determine if, you know, set calling a timeout. Um, so, yes, yeah, setting those ground rules. One more question. When will the information be available for the retreat? I mean, a lot of people are saying they live out of town. They want to plan ahead. One couple is saying um, they want to make sure they're present at the retreat because they haven't received any counseling to date. So. All right. So let's go into it. We're ready, Dr. Lex. Let's go into the solution. And can you do one in Chicago? Uh, we, we, we're going to circle around to Chicago. I, I wouldn't mind riding the train to Chicago. Watch this. We have a solution. The Unashamed Weekend. We want to have a retreat where we take the time to pour into you and your spouse for two days. And that is going to be June the 10th through the 12th. What if one weekend was all you needed to restore, revitalize, and refresh your marriage? How many would, how many think it's important to invest in your marriage? If you had one weekend where you could turn the curve and, and take it up to another notch, would that be worth it? Type one, if you agree that I could use a weekend that would give me a boost or a spark, as somebody said earlier, give me that spark that I've been looking for. We've been in a rut. This pandemic has us just going through the motion. Well, I want to reboot your love life and your marriage. One weekend could do that. Weekend. We could take what you've been struggling with for a decade and condense it down into a weekend because of the intensity and the intentionality. One weekend could do that. What will they receive? During this weekend retreat, you're going to get solutions on how to overcome some of the, the five uh, shame barriers that we've been talking about. Uh, you're also going to um, get some additional tools on how, like Stacy said, to take your marriage to the next level. Uh, yeah, so tools, let's stop right there. Okay. So what we could not unpack tonight were the practical tools on how to deal with like body image. How do you overcome betrayal? Right. That's a real thing. 
it's a real thing that you don't get to talk about in church. You don't get to talk about, you know, with some of your friends because we're too embarrassed or we're hurt. But if we're in a room with a, a few couples that are committed and, and, and dedicated to working on their marriage, we want to give you those tools on how you overcome that, how you overcome body image, how do you overcome all of the trauma that you, that you went through as a child, some heavy stuff. But we have some stuff that we've, all the counseling sessions, we've been in ministry for the last 33 years. We've counseled multiple couples. We've been to classes. We've got certification as counselors. And all of the, the tools that are necessary to overcome these things that you're dealing with, we're going to give you that weekend. You're going to walk away from that weekend more equipped to handle some of these tough things that you've only swept under the rug. We're going to pull the covers back together, and you're going to walk out with some fresh ideas and some fresh tools to take your marriage to a whole nother level. That weekend is not just about information. It's about what? Transformation. You're going to leave excited. You're going to leave glowing. You're going to leave more connected as a couple. And I believe that what you've been dealing with for the last 10 years, God is going to bless you that weekend. What will you receive? Like Rhonda said, some tools. Uh, connect with other couples from around the country to build relationships with like-minded people. It's important to find couples who are trying to stay married. Yes. There's so many couples that are doing stupid stuff and got all kinds of stuff going on. No, we're in the room together because we want to stay married and want to have our best marriage. What else, baby? I experience a weekend of passion and, and inspiration. I know when we go away, for whatever reason, I'm more relaxed. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have to worry about cleaning up the a hotel room. So that makes my list shorter. So I am giving my husband extra sexy time hey. so while we're away. So I feel extra. something. Excuse me. <laughs> Yes, it's something about getting away that is different than staying at home. And so whether you're in Memphis or Chicago or Dallas or Georgia, uh, Chicago, Florida, when you come to another space, it is just something extra. And so that weekend, you're going to gain transformative insight on how to heal from betrayal and past hurts. You're going to hit the reset button. Everybody... Everybody say reset. Type in the chat, reset. You're going to hit the reset button on your relationship. And I don't care what you've been struggling with, what you're going to be dealing with. That weekend, I believe God's going to breathe on your marriage. You're going to get some tips. We're going to laugh. We're going to play. We're going to have fun. And let me tell you about the weekend. Let me set it up for you. So that Friday night, when you get in town, you're going to register. And then we're going to the Sugar Shack in Memphis, down on Bill Street. We're going to go to the Sugar Shack, and we're going to hear live music. We're going to have dinner at the Sugar Shack. That's included in the price. And then we're going to stay at the Westin for two nights, uh, one of our newer hotels downtown. And if y'all know what it costs to stay downtown, you, you know it's, it can get pretty expensive. But we have a special rate for you that's included in the price. And so we want you to know that you're going to have a wonderful weekend. That Saturday morning, we're going to get up, have breakfast, do our workshops. Then we're going to go to lunch, come back for the second half of the day, do our workshops. And all during that day, we're going to be giving you inf information and also transformation. Also, we're going to have a person to come in with some uh, some some goodies for sale that can help enhance your, your marriage. We're going to have somebody come in and talk about the benefits of CBD in your love life. Yeah, we're going to have some, some special presenters come in. But the bulk of it is Rhonda and I dealing with those five things in more detail so you can walk away transformed. How is this different? So how is this different? Well, we're going to strategically tackle issues that have not been resolved. We're going to lift up that rug from that mohill of stuff that you've been sweeping and start taking those things out one by one because we ha you have to deal with those in order to move forward. So we're being very strategic in everything that we uh, share with you guys. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Go. What's the next slide, uh, Dr. Lexis? I, I want to make sure we cover everything about this retreat. Uh, so Unashamed Weekend is not $3,939, even though that's what it's valued at. When you think about the room and all of what we're going to offer, the workbooks, the swag bag, Cheerios. the rooms, the Friday night dinner, live music, uh, the rooftop. Uh, we're going to the rooftop Saturday night at the Hyatt-centric uh, 
for, for beverages and music on top of the roof overlooking the city of Memphis. It's going to be super duper romantic. And really the value is in the thousands, but we, we're we bringing that down because we want this to be manageable. We want this to be manageable for you and your spouse. And we're asking for an investment in your marriage, for you to invest in your marriage for $997 for that whole weekend. And again, you get workbooks, you get one-on-one -on -one time with us. Um, you're going to get tools that you didn't have and we're gonna have a good time. Yes. Ron and I believe in having a great time. We work hard, we play hard. We're gonna dance, we're gonna laugh, we're gonna cry, we're gonna learn, we're going to be transformed. And so this is designed for couples who want more for their marriage. One weekend of restoration. We want you to enhance the passion and chemistry in your marriage, mastering communication in your marriage. We want you to get the best sex ever out of your marriage, the passion, the communication, the trust, the, the trust back, your friendship back. We want you to fall in love again. Yeah. We want you to we want to get you back to the days when you were honeymoon, like we were in the back of that limousine right after we got married. We want to take you back to that place. David says, restore the joy of my salvation. We want to restore the joy of your marriage. We want y'all to laugh again. We want you to smile again. And so the payment plan is like this, uh, 575 for two payments. Uh, we want to make sure that we secure the rooms. We want to make sure that we secure all the workbooks and everything that you need. So once you send in that down payment, then that locks us into uh, being able to get you what you need. And then go ahead. Actually, number one is the best option. So if you do the first one without you know, the payment plan of splitting it up, that's the best option. But the option two is this two payments of the 575. So here's how you grab your spot. We only have, we're trying to keep it intimate. So right now we're, we're shooting for 10 or 15. And as soon as that sells out, we want to make sure that we have an intimate space for everybody. It's gonna sell out quick because uh, there's already people who have hidden us up and said, we wanna be a part of that weekend. People are already trying right. to, we already have some people that already have booked. So, so please, yeah. please, please, please listen to this testimonial from a couple that attended our retreat. Um, they're now elders at our church and um, they've grown so much. They said this. We truly can't say enough good things about Pastor Stacy and First Lady Rhonda Spencer and their positive effects on our marriage. Several years ago, while attending the International Marriage Retreat, for the first time, we experienced marriage trauma. The Spencers immediately stepped in to mediate, prescribe, and most of all, pray for healing. Upon returning to the city, their intervention continued until present day. We do not know where our marriage would be today if it were not for their leadership. We want to walk with you. This is not just about a workshop. This is not just about kicking it for the weekend. This is us beginning a, a, a relationship with you and your spouse because we want y'all to have the best marriage ever. We've been through too much not to share what we've learned, not to share what God has done for us and what God has done for us, he can do for you. And so I just believe that on this weekend retreat, you're going to get all of the things you need to take it to the next level. You're worth it. Can y'all type in the, can you type in the, in the chat? She's worth it. He's worth it. Look at your spouse right now and tell them, baby, you're worth it. You're worth this investment of us going uh, a weekend in June in Memphis, uh, downtown Memphis, you're worth those two days. It not he or she worth it? Your marriage is worth it. Your legacy is worth it. You want to build a marriage that your children can look at and say, I want to be like my mom and dad. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we want for you. You've got three choices. Take what you've learned and apply it yourself. Yeah. Or you can join the weekend, the unashamed weekend retreat or you can take no action. But based upon all those ones I saw when y'all said y'all want to take it to the next level, I believe your option is to come and meet us on this retreat. We only have 10 spaces left. Will you take one of them? Will you take one of them? So I need you tonight, before you log, on, log off and go to the Grizzly game, I need you to go to unashamedretreat.com and go on and register tonight. Your marriage is worth it. I believe tonight that when you when you logged in and you heard what we were sharing, you and your spouse were nudging each other like, we need that. We need to deal with that issue. 
We need to once and for all get to that next place. And all you got to do tonight, y'all, is go to unashamedretreat.com and lock in your spot. And if you know any friends, if they missed it tonight, we're going to record what we did tonight. And it's going to be on uh, on your email that we're going to send you just to remind you about tonight. And you they'll be able to play back and watch this. Uh, but I need you and your spouse to make a 